plenty of you ask me about finding a job in the Czech Republic. So in today's video, I decided to do just that. To give you some tips on how to find a job if you're in the Czech Republic already or if you're not. One of the things I will be talking about or one of the ways will be this job and relocation fair. So stick with me. I will tell you a bit more later. Uh, but let's first divide you into two groups. People who are not in the Czech Republic yet and people who are already in the Czech Republic. Because that's important and there is a big difference. So first thing, let's start with the people who are not here yet. So if you're not in the Czech Republic, you want to move here and you want to do it through a job. Uh, it very much depends on your nationality, how high are your chances or how low are your chances. Because as I talked about it in some of my previous videos, there are quotas at some Czech embassies, which means that only limited amount of people can apply for a work-related or employment-related type of visa in the Czech Republic. So, for example, if you are an Indian, you will never get an employment type of visa unless your employer is registered in special programs. And even, though, even then, you will need to wait a year, one and a half years, two years just to get in the, in the queue. So, if you're from India, you live in India, probably don't even try. But if you're from some other countries, or even if you're not Indian, but you have to apply at the Czech embassy in India, so if you're Bangladesh, Nepali, all that, don't even try. It will be the, the, the best way to deal with that. Uh, of course, there are some exceptions if you apply for a blue card, for example, but, or if your employer is registered one of the programs and you're already in the, in the process with them, maybe then yes. But I will warn you, don't pay any agents uh, promising you a job in the Czech Republic. You pay them like 1,000 euros, 2,000 euros, 3,000 euros, whatever. And they promise you like a work permit or something. I have done another video about that. Of course, there might be some legit agencies and sometimes it might be really like, it might really work like that. But in most cases, you will get scammed and not, not from the perspective that the documents provided uh, by the companies will not be real. But even if they are a real, you will never get an appointment because if you're Indian when you live in India, it doesn't matter if you have one job, seven jobs, or if you have seven million job offers from the Czech Republic because you will never get an appointment. So it, it's useless anyway. So just be very careful. And before you pay any agency, any money, ask them if you will ever get an appointment at the embassy or how the process works, how much they can help you. And yeah, be careful with that. But if you're from some other country or if you want to try and you don't want to use any agents for that, then there is one very good source and that's the, the website of the labor office. Because the process goes this way. If a Czech company wants to hire someone from a non-EU country, the first step they need to take is that they advertise the position through the labor office. So they say, we have this position, it's open for foreigners, we're looking for people from outside of the Czech Republic. And the position must be on this specific website for 10 or 30 days, depending on the type of the position, to get a special vacancy number. And only once the number is issued and it's ready, then you can start the visa process. So this website is focused or only meant for companies willing to hire people from non-EU countries and willing to go through this process. So if you're looking for a job in the Czech Republic and you are not here and you need a visa, if you're not an EU citizen or if you, if you just need a visa to come to the Czech Republic and work in the Czech Republic, it makes no sense to use websites like Jobs.cz or Jobspin.cz because those websites or even expats.cz and their job, sec job section, those are not meant for foreigners who don't have uh, any residence permit in the Czech Republic yet. Those are meant for locals primarily and for foreigners who live in the Czech Republic already. I will get to it in a second. Uh, but if you're not here, you don't have any visa, you don't have any residence permit, this is the best website, the website of the labor office because all the companies who are fine with hiring foreigners uh, have to advertise there. And if they advertise there, they're already aware of the process and they're looking for some real employees. So it's definitely the only place where I recommend you to go and look for a job if you're not in the Czech Republic. 
if you find a job there amazing you can proceed with that if not i don't know still don't really recommend those agents i'm not saying that all of them are scam and that some of them cannot help you but in most cases at least from what i see it's not worth it <laughs> so anyway i will share the link in the comments so please guys remind me and i will i will share it tomorrow for example and now if you are in the czech republic already uh, that's a bit different uh, situation because if you're already here there might be a couple situations first that you have a free access to the labor market which means that you can work freely and then you can take any job uh, which wants you or any job offer of a job where from a company which really wants you so those people are like people with the free access to the labor market are people holding a permanent residence permit eu citizens obviously family members of EU citizens. So if you're a partner or spouse or a child, in some cases of an EU citizen, you can work freely. Also some students, like the proper students of accredited programs of Czech universities, they can also work. So all these, you can use all the, all the sources I mentioned. So the labor office website, the jobs.cz, the jobspin.cz, expat.cz, all the different brats.cz, all these, you can use because if the company wants you they can hire you there is no problem with your visa you can work freely so you can use any sources you find uh, if you are looking for or if you are an employee car holder and you want to change the job there is there are some rules for that i did another video uh, another video about that but you still have a wider choice because you're already here and the change of employer will not take that long so there is some step the employer must take uh, again advertising the position for example they will need to wait for you like two months probably but it's still pretty likely that any company uh, which you will find will will be kind of uh, able or happy to help with the process the worst case scenario is if you're if you don't have uh, a free access to the labor market which means that you cannot work freely and if you don't have an employee card so it's not just about changing employer but if you need to get a new employee card so you're here as a student of non-accredited programs like the other purpose of stay or you're here as a freelancer as business owner and you find a job and you want to switch or some other cases family family reunification visa for example where you cannot work so in that case you would be applying for an employee card and that might be a bit more tricky because the whole process will take a couple months at least like three four five months and many employers are not willing to wait that long but since you're already in the czech republic it will be definitely easier for you to find a job than for someone who is not here yet so you can use the whole range of websites i told you so jobs.cz uh, jobspin.cz uh, the labor office website um, expats.cz the job section section all that but just to announce you a bit ahead of time i will do another video specifically about this but just for you to know uh, us move to product relocation hub experts and jobspin jobcz are organizing the second uh, second edition of the biggest job and relocation fair in the czech republic it will be on the 22nd of April in Prague, uh, in Prague 7, from 10 o'clock in the morning till 5 o'clock in the evening. And there will be like amazing companies offering jobs to foreigners. There will be also companies offering like English speaking expat friendly services to foreigners. So if you're looking for a job and you are already in the Czech Republic, or if you're not here, but you're willing to travel here and you can do that, then definitely come we'll be happy to see you there and most likely you will find a job there because there will be i believe we have already something like 40 exhibitors there so there will be plenty of opportunities for job seekers and also uh, plenty of services you are looking for most likely when living in prague but i will do another video like focus detailed on that but this is a first announcement job spin uh, job and relocation fair in prague 22nd of april uh co-organizers move to prague relocation experts will be happy to see you there and looking forward good night guys and see you next time bye bye Do -do -do.